Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Jess, or welcome back to a brand new video. And for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be letting YouTubers decide what I have to eat. Boys, look how beautiful this is. We just put up this banner in the house. It was at the 100 Thieves party, and I was like, I have to have it. I put it in the house. The only bad part about it, follow me, to literally like any angle, but exactly in front of it. As you can see, we look kind of demented, especially Jane. My nose looks massive, so you pretty much just have to look at it at the right angle. But speaking of 100 Thieves, for our first person, I'm gonna hit up my boss CEO of 100 Thieves, Nate Shaw. This man might be giving me a feast. Here we go, let's see what he says. Oh, he's got the dough, <laughs> Gary. All right, Jester, look, Nate Shot here. What I want you to eat today is something that I ate as a kid and everybody always told me that it was the weirdest combination of food that they ever seen. What you're gonna do? Oh no. You're gonna go get a cucumber. You're gonna put that thing in the fridge. You're gonna wait like an hour, let it get. All right, we're just pausing. Man said a cucumber. Never really been a cucumber type of guy, but let's see what he adds to it. You're gonna wait like an hour, let it get cold. Then you're gonna cut it up. Okay. And then you're gonna get a plate of dipping sauce that is ketchup. And I promise you that shit is gonna hit different, bro. I'm out. Bro, it's gonna hit different in the most disgusting way possible. No way that's a legitimate food combination. He definitely did not eat that as a child. If he did, he needs some help. All right, well, we're on the way to get the cucumber. And Trav, I feel like, you know, me and you are doing this day together. I feel like you should low-key try it as well. Oh, no. No? I mean, I'll try it. Okay. If you try the bad ones with me, if anyone gives us something good, you could try the good ones as okay, well. Okay, sounds good. But right before we were about to go to the store to get this cucumber, this oh, holy no. cucumber, I legit had a heart attack. I thought Humphrey got lost. I literally checked every single room in the house. Could not find him anywhere. You searched one part of the neighborhood. I searched another part of the neighborhood. I was getting hot and sweaty. And Turns out, Sue Humphrey was in the laundry room under blankets and a mini step ladder. How is that comfortable for him? And I literally went in the laundry room, started squeaking the toy like crazy. I checked there too. Nothing. You checked there. I checked there. Bro, this dude Humphrey getting old, giving me straight heart attacks. Cause he will wander. Like if he gets out, it'll just be in the most random spots possible. Boys, I don't think I have ever gone to the grocery store in my entire life and thought I'm gonna go buy a cucumber. This is a first for me. And look, we have long, hot. House cucumbers. Bro, what? Getting a little bit insecure looking at this thing, but we got a whole cart for one cucumber. <laughs> nice. Oh, there you are, ketchup. Perfect, ketchup, cucumber. We got Nate Shot's favorite snack, ladies and gentlemen. Boys, it's currently 1.53. We had a very late start to the video. We're both very hungry. You haven't eaten today, I haven't eaten today. We're gonna see what our boy Rug has to say, what he wants us to eat, and then when we get back home, we'll try the cucumber. I really, really hope Rug gives us a proper meal. Yo, what up, Jester? It's your boy, Faze Rug. Hello. I think a good one would be for you to go to In-N-Out and ask them for a burger with absolutely nothing except for ketchup. So just two buns and ketchup. <laughs> Bro. I don't want to see one bite. I want to see you eat the whole thing. And actually, tell them to add the banana peppers in there too, because they're pretty spicy. What the f*** is this? Damn. Dude, I might go starving today. You said you would try them with try me it. as well. First of all, it's gonna be mad awkward like asking that from the In-N-Out person. They'll be like, what are you doing? An In-N-Out burger with yeah. just ketchup and banana peppers. Yeah. Someone must have done him dirty like 10 minutes before that. Bro, we got a fucking ketchup cucumber and ketchup bread with banana peppers. To In-N-Out. We have made it to In-N-Out. Time to ask for the most awkward meal of all time. Just to talk to him with the What if I interview him? What would you like for your order? Just bread, ketchup, and banana peppers. How's it going, boss? Yo. Oh, you know me! Oh my god, this makes things so much easier. I've seen like all your homies from like T.I., but not you. Oh my god. Hey, shout out to Ryan. Bro, you're making this so much easier. I have to get a really weird meal. Can you help me with that? I want to just get bread, ketchup, and banana peppers. No meat, just those three ingredients only. Oh, and can I get two of them? All right, so just two buns with just ketchup and banana peppers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, Definitely. Thank you so much, bro. What's poppin'? My God. Bro, in and out is where it's at. Oh, bro, can I get some hats? Yeah, let me know that. Oh, awesome. Let's go. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Oh, dude, they were amazing. They were awesome. I'm so glad that that happened. <laughs> if it was someone who was just having like a bad day, just trying to get it over with, like it's hot outside, they'd be like, why are you trolling me? Like, <laughs> dude, I just got a flashback. One time I was in this in and out parking lot, literally parked how I am right now, and I swear to God, I got hit from behind by a grandma. I literally stayed in my car. Oh. Two veggies, ketchup, and chilies all in. Yeah, thank you so much. He's definitely judging me. <laughs> okay, it doesn't smell there? bad. Yeah, there's definitely peppers in there. This is the Phase Rug Special. Make sure you guys order it at home. Let's see what's underneath. Wow. <laughs> dude, they smell spicy. Oh, uh, first bite. 
I didn't get any peppers. I actually like the In-N-Out bread. Never mind, I did get pepper. I can feel it now. This is definitely not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this monstrosity. Let's take another bite. Mm, the peppers are hidden now. Not too bad, but... Get some pepper in there. Oh, a little bit. I feel like I literally bit around the pepper. The ketchup is good. Yeah, honestly, if there was no pepper, like I would actually eat this and be like low-key kind of happy. The bread has a nice crisp to it. It's good, it's just spicy. I'm also really hungry, bro. Yeah, I'm so hungry, bro. <laughs> that I'm literally gonna finish. It's not what I was saying, though. It could have been worse. Back to the house. The cucumber is ready to be eaten. I didn't put it in the fridge for an hour. Put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Life hack, twice as fast. So, let's try this bad boy out. I don't know how many we need. I'm just gonna cut the whole thing. I still feel insecure at this size. All right, we also got the squad in the building. Jeff Efron, Johnny. Have y'all ever heard of ketchup cucumbers? Down no, occasionally. Never. Occasionally? Once in a while you hear about it. You like ketchup, Jesse? I actually do like ketchup. The more I'm thinking about it, the more it sounds like it's gonna be good. It's like sweet and salty, kind of. I'm gonna try it first. Here we go. I'm gonna be real, this shit is weird. It's just not it. I feel like ketchup and like a fresh cucumber don't go together. I don't know if I'm weird, so I want y'all to try it and tell me like I'm just being a hater. I really try to come into this unbiased. Did the person that made you try this say it was good? Or yeah, it was one of their like childhood, childhood snacks. Like, it's not like it was horrible, I want to like gag me, but like... He tries it. He's munching. Not bad. It's low-key like not bad. Not bad. Wait, actually it's good. Am I just a hater? I really don't want to try to be a hater. Alright, I'm gonna try again. It tastes okay. It feels slimy. Dude, no. See, F1, that is a violation right there. That much ketchup? This is ketchup, ketchup. with a little <laughs> bit of cucumber. <laughs> I really don't like this. Yeah, I see you nodding no. I wouldn't eat this again. I don't eat I cucumbers eat. normally, but I will eat this. Alright. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get a normal meal, so I'm gonna hit up my boy MMG. It is now three o'clock. I am hungry. I really hope MMG can give us some type of entree without ketchup. Jester, it's good, my guy. What's poppin'? We're gonna say hi. Hello, Luna. Oh, yeah, mine and Luna's favorite dog. food when we were in California was Dave's hot chicken. Oh my god, it slaps so so. It slaps so. Okay. Hard, Dave's hot chicken. Um, I'm a little bit Caucasian, as they might say. So spice isn't my best. You can get it really hot. I don't recommend it. I would get light. Luna. Luna. She disagrees. She liked it extra spice. <laughs> it slaps so hard. Dave's hot chicken. That's what you're eating. <laughs> Dave's hot chicken. I've actually never heard of it. I feel like we might be on a little bit of a road trip. I didn't live in the same area as MMG did when he was in California. <sighs> Let's just go. What the? F when the fuck do we get up here? Go um, yes, we are birds up here. Boys, I have fantastic news. Day's hot chicken is only 40 minutes away. So I'm hype. I'm actually really hyped to try this. These two meals before didn't really fill me up. This is gonna be a proper meal. It sounds delicious. I'm really excited for this one. Not gonna lie, from the outside, this place just looks like it would be delicious. So, MMG said he gets the light mild, which I got, but we also got one extra hot because he said they were very spicy, so I gotta see what he's talking about with that. Damn, that looks delicious. I didn't know it was coming as a sandwich either. Boom! Then we have the light mild, put some of this sauce on here. I don't know what the sauce is. Kinda looks like Chick-fil-A sauce. 100% the best thing we've had all day. MMG, I love you for that. Thank you. Let's try it. I took way too big of a bite, but that is busted. I got the light mild, which he recommended, and it's still a little spicy, but the flavor is incredible. Chicken tastes great. I wish one of these was by my house, and I've only taken one bite. Like, this is actually really, really good. Matt, I love you. Thank you so much. They even got their own waters with the chicken on it. I love the vibes of this restaurant. Let me try out the french fries. French fries are solid. They have a nice little seasoning on it as well. All right, we're gonna try the extra hot. Here we go. It's honestly like, it's hot, don't get me wrong, my mouth's burning, but it's not like one of those death sauces I've had to do in forfeit videos level. The flavor is pretty good. I definitely like the light mild a lot better. My lips are burning, my tongue, the roof of my mouth. Your turn. You're probably manlier though. Do you have a good spice tolerance? Uh, uh, we're about to find out. Let's see. 
It doesn't hit you like right away. It's a slow burn. Yeah. 100% a slow burn. It's spicy for sure, but it is really good. I do like that. Definitely like the light and mild better. My mouth is still burning. Yeah, it's yeah. a slow, it gets worse over <laughs> time. It sneaks up on you. I feel like it's one of those foods where you have to keep eating it because low key when you eat it, it's not as hot. It's like, it's like hot Cheetos. That's what I feel like this chicken is like. Not the spice, but the way the spice works. See? My Ooh. mouth hurts. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you keep eating it, so the pain goes away, but then it gets worse the more you eat it. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all know what I'm talking about with like hot Cheetos, how you keep eating them. It's getting worse, right? Oh man, starting to eat the bread to help. The hot chicken is literally a time bomb. The longer it goes, the hotter it gets. It's so weird. My boy's going through it. My lips are hurting a lot. <laughs> I can see why he didn't get the extra hot. Now I understand completely. I know it doesn't really look like it outside, but it's eight o'clock right now, so it is nighttime. My stomach is rumbling. It's time for dinner. We are on the deck. Boys, look how different the deck is. The railing is gone. The staircase is gone. The city like saw my deck and they were like, that is a building code violation. And I'm really sad because I love the deck. Like it was awesome. I spent a good amount of money on it just for the city to be like, no, you can't do that. Like I love how they could just tell me what I can and can't do at my house. The next person I hit up for a meal was destroying. So let's see what he says. Please be a full entree. Hey, yo, Justin, how are you doing an eating challenge? Yes, sir. And my I fans am. know me. I like to put that green in my body. And I keep that green in my pocket. So okay. You start your day off with a green smoothie, my guy. Get it in, start off right, be healthy. <laughs> oh shit. All right, so I guess I was probably supposed to watch his in the morning. I didn't watch any of them until now. So we're gonna go get a green smoothie. Green smoothies, they're not bad. I had a phase where I was like into green smoothies. It lasted about four days. Well, we can definitely rock with a green smoothie. I just noticed under the deck was fellow YouTuber Christopher London. What hey. are the odds? I've been asking YouTubers to get me food for the day. I really haven't eaten much. Destroying gave me a green smoothie. So I was wondering if you would like to tell me a nice food to eat. So what have you eaten today? Bread, ketchup, and peppers. I had cucumbers and ketchup, and I had chicken. The chicken was really good, though. Who the f*** gave you cucumbers and ketchup? Nate Shot. It's one of his favorite childhood snacks. For that reason, I'm gonna make it worthwhile. We're going cheesecake. Ooh, Dude, this is my boy right here. Hook you know up. what? I have something even better. Even better than cheesecake. Talk, talk to me. BJ's. Like, Yo. brew house. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, no. let me finish that. BJ's brew house, deep dish ziti. Ooh. Deep dish ziti with the strawberry lemonade. Oh my god, you're a hero. You know, I appreciate you. Trav, I had my green juice phase. Did you have a green juice phase? I have never had a green juice phase. Never? It sounds absolutely horrible. <laughs> what about celery juice? No. Boys, we found literally the perfect aisle. Refreshing juice. I'm excited. Which one do we get? I feel like the oh, naked. That's the good one. This is the good one? Yeah, that one tastes really good. Why does this have 53 grams of sugar in it? If I got this one, it would be cheating. I need one like this. You can oh. tell all the like good stuff is on the bottom. I just don't like the size of this yeah, one. That's too big. <laughs> that's the only thing. Oh, there you oh. go. Yeah. Boom. Organic. Green devotion, celery, cucumber, spinach, romaine, kale, lemon, and parsley. One for you. Thank you. One for me. I don't like this one. I don't think anyone actually likes green juice. This is disgusting. <laughs> well, I'm going in for seconds. Destroying is just like a different type of human being than us. Yeah, I feel like I, I'm gonna chug mine. I gotta finish it. Okay, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's all you fan. <laughs> mm. I spilled some on my shirt. <laughs> that was a mission. That was for you destroying. I'll save mine. You save it for later? Yeah. For dessert. Yeah. Sure. Finish the green smoothie. Final meal of the day, we're having BJ's with the boys. One of my favorites. The deep dish ziti. I actually get this a lot growing up. I went here a ton growing up, and I'm excited for it. I got the food for takeout. Let's go home. We have the final meal. I'm very excited to dig into this. Three, two, one, go. Base drop. That looks so delicious. There is so much cheese. My stomach is gonna be hurting, but I don't even care because it looks so good. Layer of cheese on the top, and then underneath, it's like a five meat just pasta. Absolutely delicious. Chris, I appreciate you. That was a handsome bite, and that is delicious. Boys, I'm gonna finish this, but I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Please let me know in the comments how you guys did like this video. If you want more vlogs with me and Trav going to different places, let me know if you guys enjoyed it. I really wanna know. I'm gonna be reading all the comments. I got two other videos popping up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, and peace. Ah.